Hello and back to another fed and I sound like dog shit, look like dog shit. But the good thing was, even if, even though the performance here, you could argue was dog shit, it was a fairly hard game against St Mirren, but we got the job done, we got all three points, and that is really all that matters. But before we get uh end of the game what was, what was I gonna say? Fuck I completely forgot what see my head is banging my throat. My nose, it's all just fucked. But anyway, we kicked off the game. I had Defoe starting up front, which I was alright about because him and Morales are both great. But Defoe, the link up between him and Arfield's great, but he missed a great, great chance uh, at 0 0. We went two, two, three minutes in. You'd exp like, the way he hit the shot is the way I'd expect Morales to hit the shot. A wee bit ragged. Defoe, you would expect 99 times out of 100 there. Uh, Hit that bottom right, bottom left, you know what I mean? But he dragged it wide, and uh, that kind of cost us. There's a few other chances. Arfield had a header in the first half. St. Mirren had a few chances, not I mean the uh, half chances, like nothing major. Their chances came later on when they had the goal for it. But yeah, I mean, it was literally their striker was in the 18 yard box. It was just crosses. They were dealing with the crosses though pretty well, apart from the Arfield header. Um, they did. Did uh, no bad with that. End of the second half, nil nil. More, much more of the same, really. Then we get a free kick. Jimmy and the full great turn <sighs> makes up for the miss because it's essentially the assist for the Barisic goal. And Barisic, what a way to score your first goal for Rangers. He's been here what <sighs> a year, thirteen months. I can't remember exactly when we signed him. I it would be a, it would be a year because he played for Ozzy Jack against us and we signed him and that was in the the qualifying, so that would have been, uh, it would have been about a year, no 13 months, about 12 months, but top bends, top right, case closed, and the only problem is, it's like, we could have definitely scored more goals after this, but we need to finish games off, yes it worked here, we kept the clean sheet and held on the 1-0 win, fantastic, but from now on, we need to just get more goals, like we did, like, we did the exact same against Kilmarnock and got punished, and then we went up and scored, like, but it, it easily could have been one each day, because they're new signing, I believe, they brought him in from Northampton. Cannot remember his name. It was some mad shit. His name, but he uh he got play got played in, and literally he tried to take like a touch in the six yard box, and Al McGregor caught it. Baris Bar uh, <laughs> Barisic went off injured. McGregor looked like he picked up a knock. Um, Morales could have scored a couple. I mean, literally half the time you wonder how he gets shots away. Like it was mental, but we won one now. Top of the league, put the pressure on Celtic, who are currently 1-0 up against Hearts of Midlovian. Big Hearts. Hearts no doing us any favours. I do not know who scored, so we'll just click on and give an instant live reaction. Because it's no over. But, is it going to load? 1-0, Bayou. So I'm pretty sure he, he's making his debut up front today for uh, Celtic. But yeah, looks like Bofius will be going into first day. Trying to get through the group stages and then it's all about them on Sunday. But anyway, that's, this is what it's going to do. I'm fucking dying. I need to get some rest. But until next time, peace.